It's past your bedtime here in Miami. I'm Joe Varden, along with uh, the Northeast Ohio Media Group's Cavaliers beat writer, Chris Haynes. We are en route to Brazil, uh, where the Cleveland Cavaliers will be this week in preparation for their game Saturday against the Heat. And uh, Chris, let's start there. Um, what are you looking for for the week? It's going to be a crazy week. I don't know what to look for. This is um, this is going to be a moment where I think we was just everybody's just going to try to figure their way out as they go along. But we know that the Heat and the Cavs are going to have some ventures going out sightseeing, and you know it'd be a good chance for us to see how big the Cavs and the Heat are. You know, in, in this country right here, is NBA really a major sport here? Is LeBron James really a big figure here? Is the Heat Cavs rivalry? really consider the big rivalry back over there. So it'd be interesting to find all those things out. Yeah, I mean, you, you said it. You mentioned LeBron. Um, he's the reason I'm going. He's the reason most of, you know, the people outside of the core beat writers are going. He's the reason he's why the He's the reason you were here. Yeah, well, I mean, and he, but he's, he's the reason. He, he is the reason for this game. Uh, it was scheduled before he had even joined the Cavs. And, of course, he's playing – his old team, uh, the team that he was on when this game was scheduled. So my question to you is, will the angst or pressure of playing against D. Wade and his old teammates, will, will that come up? I mean, will he feel it this week? I don't think so. This is a preseason game. I don't, I don't think these guys are really taking this game seriously. I think what they look at, this is this is an opportunity for them to extend the, the brand of the NBA outside of the states and just to, to expose everybody, give everybody a feeling of taste. So I think that's definitely what these global games are all about. As far as the Heat and Cavs go, hey, it's going to be good. I'm pretty sure LeBron and D. Wade and Chris Bosh, those guys are going to get together from time to time. But uh, th this game doesn't, doesn't mean anything. This is not something that they're going to keep, you know, that they're going to remember you know, when they 10 years from now, it's going to be the regular season games, those first matchups. That's where it's going to count. So, uh, you know, I, I think that, that's just my two cents. So, the first, the Cavs' first action of the year was against themselves yeah. uh, in, a, in a scrimmage. And then they played Maccabi Tel Aviv. Now they get a real team, mm -hmm. actually a team that went to the finals uh, last year. Of course, they a little different yeah. makeup a little, then a little bit. than they have now. But what can we reasonably expect to see from the from the Cavaliers on Saturday, and what you know, what marks progress for this team that is supposed to be so good? Well, you just don't want to take any steps back. Um, you know, progress. I, I'm not going to rate progress as being wins and losses because the preseason because he's not going to play his main guys extended minutes. So you want to see your core group of guys. You know, with some cohesion, you want to see them sharing the ball. And you want to see them on defense and some improvements on that side of the ball. That's the main thing. If we can see that, I think we can see progress. Wins and losses, that really doesn't matter. Um, but it will be a good test because Miami Heat, ball club, they're a really good team. Luol Dang over there, he's no slouch. He's no LeBron James, but he's no slouch in this league. So they'll get a real good test in that first half to see what they're really made of. By the time you folks are seeing this, uh, Chris and I will hopefully be safely on the hopefully, ground in yeah. Rio. Hopefully. Uh, with the sun shining um, and two NBA teams in the city getting ready, uh, not only for each other on Saturday, but for the season. Uh, please come to cleveland.com early and often throughout the week to uh, catch all of the news and notes and insight that the two of us have to offer. Um, signing off uh, for now, uh, again, with Chris Haynes, this is Joe Varden. Uh, you've been watching the Northeast Ohio Media Group's coverage of the Cavaliers uh, en route to Brazil.